indigenous water protectors have camped out in the area to fight the $3.8 billion Dakota Access Pipeline, which would carry crude oil from the Bakken oil fields of North Dakota through South Dakota, Iowa and Illinois. In a statement Sunday, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers said it had, quote, no plans for forcible removal, unquote, of protesters, but the agency said anyone who remained would be considered unauthorized and could be subject to various citations. Dave Archambault, the chairman of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, said in a statement the tribe was deeply disappointed by the decision. Meanwhile, Sunday night, musical legends Jackson Brown and Bonnie Raitt performed a benefit concert for the Standing Rock protesters. Jackson Brown made headlines last month when he signed an open letter to Kelsey Warren, CEO of Energy Transfer Partners, which owns the pipeline. Warren also owns a small music label, Music Road Records, which once released a Jackson Brown tribute CD. Brown said, quote, I do not support the Dakota Access Pipeline. I will be donating all of the money I've received from this album to date, and any money received in the future to the tribe who are opposing the pipeline, unquote. In the press